Hey everybody, this week we'll be looking at the bean cuff. Okay, we did the bean giants before. This is the regular beans, okay? They came in several different sizes and it's really difficult if you don't have one of each to side-by-side -side compare them which ones they were. But basically the lightest ones and the ones with the thinnest link and the, the, the hinge here is how you can tell. These were the um, detectives, okay? Then we have the patrolmen, which were a little bit heavier. And the, again, the, the, the hinge here is a little bit different. You can see the comparison there. Okay, and then uh, at least as far as I can tell, these were the prison. These were the heaviest, okay, and look at that. Again, we'll try and compare them. You might not be able to tell the difference, but I, you know, weighed them and all. So we had the, the ones with the skinniest link and the smallest hinge, all right. Then the medium. These would have been patrolmen. Pretty much every day you sat on the street by the cop walking the beat. And the prison, which were... Thicker and you can, if you could feel the weight on these things, you would know what I mean. But these are a bit heavier, okay? Um, and they came in different finishes, and, and of course, age has uh, put a nice brown patina on some in my collection. There we go, take a look at that link, okay? Let's see. I'm going to explain about what this arming button here is. And uh, as you can see, these are the notches that would catch on some the, the uh, locking unit inside. But I'll be I'll get into that in a little bit. Okay. There we go. And very tight fit. Okay. Okay. Now the Ivor Johnsons and early bean models had a round barrel key. Okay. That is the round one compared to the flat key. Then we have these. John Lovell. These are actually marked. Not many of them are. Let's get better lighting. There we are. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right. Unfortunately, it's totaled on that side. That's how I bought them. These take a flat key, and as you can see, it has the rotating keyhole. There's the arming button, the locking button, and the maker's mark. Another pair. In better condition, except, oh, no stamp. See? Nothing. So I bought these, and then I figured, you know what? When these guys came up, and you could actually, even though that's crunchy, even though that, you can actually see the manufacture mark. That's why I bought them. Those are what we call wall hangers because you usually just hang them on the wall and they don't work. Uh, this side does. Another example as to how luck plays a big part in collecting. These bean cuffs I paid $45 for three years ago. So it was in like 2010, uh, 2010, 2011. And I bought them at a, I was at a little tiny auction, and they were in the glass case, and I didn't even ask to see them. I could tell that they looked in pretty decent shape, and for 45, you know, even if they didn't work completely, they'd be worth it just, you know, to add to my collection. So I get them out to the car. It was winter time, 
and I, you know, I knew that I was going to be bidding on them, so I brought along a, a spare bean key. And when I got them out to the car, all right, let's see. Here, this is what I. Not only did they work, but let's see if you can see that. Look at that engraving. Sheriff's Office, Lancaster County. You see that? Right? I'm, I'm here. I'm in Lancaster County. I buy these things at an estate sale and look at the engraving. And they were, they were keyhole up. So I had no idea when I purchased these suckers that that was on there. And there was admittedly some, it was actually like mud almost it looked like. So it's not like I really cleaned them too much. I just sort of, I really I just wiped it with my thumb. And that's about all I did to it. Put a little oil on it when I got home. But look at that. See, sometimes a little gem like that makes all the difference in the world. And then we have the real oddball beans on a oop, zoom out. Very long leader chain. We'll get to the Walden Cups another week. There's the ring. And it's about a five foot chain going to a single cuff. And that's, again, when you buy cuffs and they look like this, you never know what kind of hidden treasures inside that lock case. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it, these are fully functional. I just didn't arm them so that you could see. Locked. And watch when I unlock. See it moving? I won't do it all the way. See the button move? There we go. Really going until you... You can actually hear it click when you arm it. There we go. Another thing about beans is they also came in leg iron size, which I do not own a pair of yet. Um, that's on my wish list. A pair of bean leg irons because they look just like these, but bigger. You know, they're for the legs, and they, I really, really, really want a pair of bean leg irons. Let's look at how that slides in to the locking case, see? There, look, there's very, very close tolerance. You can't open these with anything but a key, all right? These are, I, these are so secure, I cannot figure out for the life of me why they still don't use these things. And you know what? Uh, not to sound weird, but they're pretty darn comfortable to wear. Okay? If you don't pinch yourself. I mean, it's rounded. All the edges are smooth. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't, you know, unless you pinch your skin in there. They're adjustable to fit every wrist size. And, you know, I just think they look really cool. I always like it when the cuff meets the lock case like that, as opposed to the swing through ones of today. I just think it's cooler to have the locking unit, as it were, up here instead of down here. Like that. Okay. Okay, a pair of modern Smith and Wessons. See what I'm saying? The locking unit is right next to the chain as opposed to there. I just think this, from a stylistic standpoint, is just much cooler, okay? And, to me, it's easier for the cop to handle the keyway being cl on the outside of the guy's wrist than on the inside, like, it's right there. You got, you know, if he's struggling, same thing. Why? I don't know. You can notice the different finishes on these. Some are 
Some have most of the plating, some have none, some have the brown patina. You know, again, it's just another wonderful part about collecting. Uh, the Ivor Johnsons. There's the Patrolmans up there. These here. These are the Cummings, which I'll probably be going talking about next week because I have an interesting story about them too. And these, oh, everybody's going to salivate. Walden Lock Company. <sighs> Upcoming episode. See, one of my Ivor Johnsons uh, is in pretty decent shape. Barrel key. Early beans had the barrel key too. Uh, there we go. The Lovell handcuffs. Okay, now check out the key action on this. There's the notches. Again, low tolerance. And it's locked. Double bitted key. Obviously not the original. Okay. Very smooth action. I mean, look, come on. These are what, 1890? And they still work as beautifully as the day they left the factory. Listen to the click. There we go. Amazing. These are the Cummings, which I'll probably be going talking about next week because I have an interesting story about them too.